Abu. Now we've got a slight change to the advertised program and I make no apology for this because our next speaker is a very important person in Tahamit. We talked about our tradition of fighting against racism and intolerance in our borough and there's a person who's been there all of the, all of the last 20, 30 years as a part of that struggle as a former leader of the Labour Group on the Council, as, but also as an artist, as a photographer, and as someone who's just about producing a film about the, the Battle of Cable Street and the history of anti-racist struggle, I'd like to introduce Phil Maxwell. I can think of no greater joy than standing in front of this amazing crowd of human beings. Most of you, during your lives, will have been asked the absurd question. If you had enough money, where would you live in the world? That question, of course, is absurd for two reasons. First of all, it suggests that if you are rich, you are of greater value as a human being than anybody else. In fact, if it wasn't for the fact that Tower Hamlets Council permits advertisers to put billboards like the one behind you anywhere in the borough against the law, you would be able to see where I live. Like most of you, I live on a former council estate in a tower block. And I can think of no better place in the world. Wherever I go in the world, and when I'm touched and moved as a human being by a new and different culture, I know I can come back to London and feel as if part of what I have left behind is here. Where else in the world can you find such a rich diversity of people. Where else in the world can you find such a splendid history of solidarity against hate and discrimination of all kinds? The EDL and fascists of different kinds are generally visible. But there is a danger which is as insidious, which is careful and more invisible. And if you look that way, you will see an architecture of an entirely different kind. An architecture that pays homage to capitalism and to bankers. And when people like David Cameron have the audacity to talk about the marvellous people who are struggling for liberation in the Middle East, be very careful to analyse the way he uses words like democracy and law and order. I want to see law and order in the area I live in, but not the kind of law and order that allows bankers to rob millions of pounds from working people. And then that same law and order in prisons single parents for stealing a can of beans. What kind of law and order is that?
feel strong. You have filled me with hope. Fill each other with hope. Think of your solidarity and the strength you have and use it because that is what they are afraid of more than anything else in the world. Congratulations. Thank you, Phil. To be here, to stand with the people of Tower Hamlet, of all backgrounds, of the diverse community that expresses not just London, but the very future of humanity. The future of humanity is all of us working together. And if you want to know what fascists really think of us being here together like this, we only need to look back to the nail bombings. The nail bombings which blew London apart, which were an attack on the African Caribbean community in Brixton, on the Asian community here in Brick Lane, and mortally on the LGBT communities in Soho. That is what fascism really means, that what, that's what it stands for. And, that is, and we marched then and we stood together with all communities in Brick Lane, Brixton, Soho and with the trade union movement we marched through London and that is why I'm proud that we are standing here together today. There must be no singling out of any single community in any way, in the way that